Hey guys, it's me, Jared G. How are you doing? Chubby Unicorn Bear. I was uh, recently looking into getting a logo, actually, for this show. My friend uh, and roommate drew two versions of a new logo for me. Pretty excited. I uh, threw it out there to a couple of other friends. My family, I think I've mentioned before, is full of artists. People who like to create and draw and see things in different colors. and uh, It excites me, actually. <laughs> there have been some pretty extravagant logos, some cute personal ones that look like me as like a little uh, mini version of myself. And uh, some requests I had put out there were uh, something that looks like a robot, something that looks like a bear, something that resembles me because I'm kind of chubby but I'm super unicorn. I'm, I'm not the only one though. There's a lot of us. There's a lot of unicorns. Watch for unicorns. Unicorns in my version of life are just mythical, magical, uh, wonderful things, wonderful beings, wonderful creatures. It's people who see things outside of the box. People who don't have to... They don't have to follow every single rule. It's not better or worse, it's just different. And that's what a unicorn is. It's very similar to other humans. It's just a little bit different in my point of view. In my point of view, it's got a horn on its head. <laughs> a little different than a horse. A little different than the average person. A little different than the average bear. So I had a whole bunch of people contributing and I'm gonna be sharing those here pretty soon. So if you guys have ideas for a logo or ideas of what I should incorporate, uh, let me know. And I'm gonna be displaying a whole bunch of them It'll allow me to kind of showcase some of my friends' talents, showcase some of my family's talents, and uh, showcase kind of a creativity and how everybody can hear the same exact thing and get different versions of it, and <laughs> they all are entertaining and happy. So, I was just chuckling uh, because I was thinking about today's topic. Now, I've written down, I kind of emailed myself ideas of what I want to talk about in each episode, um, but <laughs> one of the things that made me uh, excited about making a video again was my drive home from work the other day. I think most people get to do this whether they're walking or biking or driving uh, or riding the bus or a train. They kind of uh, decompress. You know, some people get it right when they walk in the door to their house. Some people get it as soon as they step out of the office or their cubicle. Um, I usually get it on the drive home. It's really only about like a 15 to 20 minute drive for me. I just recently, the last year or so, started listening to podcasts. Do you guys have any favorite podcasts, people you like to listen to? My friend uh, from Ireland, uh, Lorcan, actually suggests I listen to Throwing Shade, and that podcast cracks me up. If you guys haven't heard of it, Throwing Shade's pretty good. The one I started listening to was RuPaul and uh, Michelle Visage called What's the Tea? Uh, they crack me up because it's just them talking, and it often reminds me of things in their past um, that I remember seeing on TV or uh, learning about. RuPaul was a big example of a unicorn of people looking outside of the box and feeling outside of the box so they express themselves through ways that were outside of the box kind of like I do with this video uh, I want to know how you guys express yourself outside of the box and how you decompress but the other morning uh, I had gone from uh, RuPaul to I had just finished up a podcast there and then I was listening to uh, Ross Matthews it's called straight talk with Ross and I love it it's so good it's a little bit much it's kind of like my head there's so many characters and I love uh, Ross I love uh, when he used to have people on there Taya and uh, Daria I love so many things about it. The manager, Mark, drives me a little bit crazy. I know he means well, but hes uh, it's hard not to roll my eyes sometimes. I'm driving home the other morning, and the fun part about these podcasts is they, they bring you in. They make you think of things that you knew or remembered as a child. And for me, as a child, was uh, was not social media like it is for kids today. For me, as a child, was cartoons, TV, movies, music. Oh my gosh, music. Going out and playing and seeing different neighborhood kids and what they were excited about. And then you would kind of figure it out and see if you liked it or not. There was a cartoon called uh, Shirt Tales. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Shirt Tales. Had all these little characters in uh, t-shirts and their words would be their name. And then they would change according to what they thought, what they felt, what they were. Surprised. Oh no, or surprise, or look in the tree. But uh, it was entertaining, and I remember friends had stuffed animal versions, and I thought, oh, he has Tig, or he has, you know, he has the panda, I want that. So, in listening to Throwing Shade, they were uh, 
rambling. They have this thing where they don't um, they don't go back to correct themselves. They just kind of pretend like that's what they meant and they go along with it. So you kind of sometimes don't really know if they're being sarcastic or realistic, but they're always being pretty humorous. You assume sarcastic and they don't really mean it. Um, but at one point, um, Aaron, the female host, starts singing a little song. And it was actually a couple songs and I thought, I've heard that before, but that's not just one song. And then she said, uh, he goes, is that a song? Is that really a song? She said, smoke on the water. He goes, is that really a song? And she said, it is. Actually, I think what I just did is I just sang uh, one of those infomercials for a collection of, of songs. I started laughing so hard because not only did she, but I it made sense to me because I had heard that song. Um, you know, sometimes you hear... Um, a commercial or a word from a commercial, or I do, and I quote it. And people joke, they say I'm iPodian because my last name is Gaudian. So they say uh, I'm an iPodian because I'll, somebody will say a word and it will make me think of a song. Somebody will say a sentence and it will remind me of a, of a line in a movie. And then, of course, I start quoting. Most people don't know. My sister knows. My partner knows. My daughter knows. A lot of times people will get the reference. A lot of times I'm standing by myself. Just me, unicorn, a horn on head. Just being glittery all by myself, um, <laughs> which is entertaining for me. But uh, so, but I'm, I, I was laughing so hard uh, because I could relate to that because I could reach out and I could see. Okay, she's doing something that's totally not normal, but I've done that, and that is hilarious. She's singing a song. It's like when some, you know somebody's playing some older '70s music or '60s music. There used to be an infomercial, like a mini infomercial but a long commercial it was in between it was a info mini commercial mini commercial info commercial a commercial i don't know what i call that uh, a longer commercial and there was these two guys that like kind of hippie guys or want to be hippie guys very uh commercial looking clean cut hippie guys uh who were relating to this music and he's like is that freedom rock turn it up And I kind of remember singing those songs by myself. Or did you ever have a tape or a CD? You probably didn't have any of those because nobody ever had those. I apparently am a dinosaur and a unicorn. But I had tapes where even if it was recorded off the radio, but you would remember what song came next on that tape. And that was what came around. So right now if I hear a Janet Jackson song, I know what song comes next. Or on the satellite radio. But then I hear in my head, uh, the next song. It is my first tape, 1980s Control. And uh, at the end of the song, she goes, So what's up, girl? He stood you up again, again. It just rolls through my head. Because to me, that's a continuation of the song. It was a whole stream of events, and that's what she did. Driving on a very small, narrow road at the time, listening to this podcast, laughing at her, I can't see. I'm crying by myself. I thought people are going to think I'm an emotional wreck. And then it made me think. I cry all the time. I can cry. I probably, I should be famous probably because I can cry on demand. Maybe not on demand, but pretty close. It doesn't take me much. I can get emotional. I can get glossy eyed. And it's not because I'm trying to. I'm usually trying not to. He'll be watching TV. James will be leaning against me. Uh, Oprah will reunite a family. Ellen will give somebody a, a check from Shutterfly because they've been amazing. And uh, the, the air in me escapes. My eyes get the twinge just right in the back. Just like a... Like a and it, uh, bing, bing. I can't help it. And then my nose runs. It's this continuous thing, you know, and my, my breasts get heavy. But that doesn't happen. But I kind of feel like it should because it's like everything is affected. Uh, my family always says, you know, we are connected to the tear ducts because if one of us is crying, the other one is crying. Sometimes I'm in a room, I see my mom is crying and she's usually like, you know, reminiscing with a friend or a family member about something wonderful her grandkids did or some memory she had from when she was younger. And then we look over and we're like, why are we crying? <laughs> we'll all have tears in our eyes and nobody knows why. I bet they were crying on the way to work the other day as I was on my way home from work, uh, laughing and crying. So I hope that what these videos do for you is that they reach in and pull on your little strings and make them chuckle and make them laugh and make you cry and make you happy. Because that's pretty much the goal in life, is to be happy, to make other people around you happy. Mainly, just be happy. You guys have a good day. Uh, I'm going to go off and uh, do a little bit of laughing and crying myself, so I hope you guys do the same. Be the love we need in this world. Enjoy yourself, but always take care of yourself and your own happiness. I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a good day. Chubby Unicorn Bear signing off. We'll see ya. Bye.